Hey guys, and welcome to another installment of uh, what are we doing today? So, <clears throat> just a quick update. We are going to um, go to NCM again. We're headed back to. Um, well, we gotta redeem ourselves. Last time the car was there, it crashed. So, we all know that story. So let's let's make a good time at NCM. So, um, working on some of the cooling stuff um i did have the very last session at mid ohio i had some very very mild overheating issues now this could have been for a couple of reasons it was very hot um i was able to basically do two sessions back to back without any time for the car to cool down um i mean when, when i say it was hot it was it was 100 degrees on the on the blacktop um, there was lots of sitting and waiting in the paddock, um, or in grid rather, waiting to go out. So, I mean, there's, there's lots of things. Now, um, some other things is I then realized the stupidity of starting to delete things earlier this year. So, this piece here, um, I had deleted and I actually reinstalled yesterday. So, um, now just thinking out loud the function of this piece well the air is going to come straight in and without this piece there's no there's no direction there's no way there's there's nothing to tell the air where to go so i just realized how important this piece is because it's going to make the air obviously or air is going to come up and there's little channels of course to not you know overwhelm this piece but it's going to direct air to the very top of the radiator that wasn't there i also did not have a cooling plate so i feel like that in combination with the hot temperatures um is maybe a reason now when i say overheat i mean two blocks over uh operating temperature so not an overheat like you would think so um not a big deal most people said you know Oh, check your ducting, check your ducting. I'll, I had deleted all that. So, you know, with the splitter too, I don't have that bottom piece that is supposed to kind of channel the air. So maybe that'll help. I'm sure it will. Um, I don't know. We'll just have to see. So I have a cooling plate that will be here next week, hopefully. And then I've got that piece reinstalled. Um, changing up a little bit visually, I did get rid of the duck bill. Um, I ordered a third brake light. I just, I just like it. It's better. The the duck bill, like, because there's so much downforce from the trunk, it's tearing up my wrap on this piece. Um, not so much over here. I adjusted these to make sure they were a little higher and tougher. But um, I just, I don't know. That that piece came with the car, and it's a great piece. It looks great. It came with the trunk when I bought this trunk. Um, but I just, I'm just a fan of the. Just the OEM look. Um, and then these were cut to fit it. So maybe at some point I'll get another set of stands. Um, or bases rather. And then I do want to get the solid carbon stands. So that's kind of the only visual things that I want to add to the car. Uh, the RPF ones are still on. Because um, I'm getting alignment in a couple of days. And I put the toe arms in. So my toe, I don't know if you can tell on camera or not. But I have like probably six degrees of toad. Uh, it's towed in. It's really bad on this side. So we just need to get all that adjusted and there's no sense in putting uh, brand new um, wheels and tires on and you know, yeah, it's only 10 miles, but I mean, I'm just gonna leave these on. So I've got the Volks here and they'll be ready to go shortly after here. So um, stock box still for now. I mean, I've, I've, I've deleted the partition so it's pretty it's pretty good and functional um didn't do any fancy cooling plate just it is carbon fiber it's an apr um, i'll have to cut two holes for this so it'll sit flat but just see how the car does this will be the last event for this year for me um and then we'll just have to see where we go from there interior has not changed at all I love the interior of this car, it's so good. Um, 
I uh, I picked up a Raptor, and I really, really, really like my Raptor. Um, it's just other trucks are just so boring, and you know they're just just trucks. And like this is this is just has so much character. That's why I really like it. Um, I like my cars to tell a story about me, and so you know having this truck and this car, you know, it, it just really says, hey, you know. Yeah, I'm just not your average car fella. I, mean, I just I love I love cars. I love the aftermarket support, and I love I love you know everything to just be modified and just be kind of customized to your tastes. And that's just me. So I wanted a Raptor since I can remember, and so we had that good opportunity to pick one up, and so I did. And this truck's awesome. It's completely stock, other than these uh, method wheels, which I really like. They're 17s, they're really dirty. They're 17s, um, and then I put a brand new set of 35 inch uh, Falcon Wild Peaks uh, on it. And I did, um, so these trucks from the factory, they have an adjustable front coilover. So this is on what you call the, the middle perch. So it's raised up one inch. Well, originally I was gonna lower it back down. However, I got this side completely blown apart and then realized that it was seized. I could not get that undone. So what I did instead was I just put a one inch, um, I, I replaced the rear block from a two inch to a three inch. So that raised the rear one inch. So it's exactly stock height, but it's one inch taller. But I think it looks fantastic. Ford did a good job with this truck, keeping uh, everything subtle, but at the same time, everything ties in together. So it's got the, the Fox Racing shocks from the factory. Um, I love the stance so much. I love the wide body flares. I think they really fit on this. They kind of, everything ties in. It goes boom to the piece. I love it. It's just, uh, it's a cool truck, man. Um, and you know, for this car, I don't have much else that I want to do except for um, changing the color at some point. So, but you know that's what we're gonna do. Um, we're just gonna get ready for NCM. It is what it's October 10th, so a um, couple weeks. It's the November 6th and 7th, um, and we just need to do some basic things: change the oil. I think the brakes and fluids so good for this last track day. Um, we're just gonna go out and have a good time. It should be nice and cool. It should be 70s, hopefully. So hopefully we don't have any cooling issues, especially with the cooling plate in that factory uh, ducting piece. I'm sure we'll be fine. Brand new set of tires. Brakes are still good, like I said. So I'm just going to go out and have a good time and uh, enjoy one last track day before end of the year. Um, so might be the last one for me for a while, just because i got some other things financially that I want to buckle down and get done. And... Uh, I might I might do one next year. I'm gonna pick a track I hadn't been to and maybe try to make that happen. So um ultimately I wanna I finance a little bit of this truck. I wanna try to pay it off and uh I wanna try to finish this car. So for me finishing the car would look like a few visual pieces that I always wanted, like the stands we talked about. Um I wanna get a Comtech intake box probably because I love the way it looks, and uh, it's it's just as functional as this, I'm sure. And we're gonna paint it. I want I want to paint it. I uh, I really miss it being white. The blue's cool, and all. Um, I just I don't know. I'm a huge fan of an OEM look. And as you know, before the car um, the car was not it was not ever a factory white. It had been resprayed prior to me buying it. I didn't know that at the time because I'd never had Grand Prix White, but it was actually closer to the 08 and 09, what they call Platinum White, um, which is a Honda color, but mine was not that either. It was kind of a, a blend of a few random colors, which is unfortunate. So, but I mean, I want to paint it back to white. I want to do Grand Prix white so it all matches. That way the door jams, everything will be, everything will match. Everything will be the correct color. 
and I just think it looks really good with a carbon fiber. I will be painting this too. I'm a huge fan of paint matched pieces. Um, the roof and the wing will stay um, carbon and the lower diffuser piece on the bumper as well as the side uh, diffusers. But the hood will be getting painted just because um, I just think it's too much of a clash with the body lines. So it will be white and uh, just talking about it gets me excited. So anyway, so just a quick update there. I know I hadn't posted in like a month. I've had lots happening and um, just wanted to provide a quick update. So we're gonna film our uh, weekend at NCM. I'll take you along for that journey. It'd be the Raptors first time towing um, towing the, the, the trailer and the car set up. Probably in the future, um, gonna sell that trailer also. And I really want to get a, an aluminum, an open aluminum trailer. Just for my needs, that's all I need. So we'll see how it does. If the truck does fine, and you know, I think it will. I just think about fuel economy and longevity of the differential and um, different things. It's just less wear and tear on the truck. So we'll see though. I might just keep it. It's nice to have an enclosed trailer. I can also use it to store this for the winter um, and maybe pick up another project. Maybe so. But until next time, we'll see you guys out there and we'll catch you at NCM. Peace out.